Hey yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Esports Talk, and it's about time, ladies and gentlemen, Valorant Esports is going to be taken to a new level, because Riot has announced their very first official Riot-operated and ran Valorant tournament called First Strike. And this is exciting for a few reasons, because looking back to the Ignition series, which was pretty much entirely ran by different esports orgs around the world, of course with Riot's help and funding and prizes and whatnot, this is going to be our first look at what a Riot ran and operated and produced official Valorant tournament looks like, of course, with likely higher prize pools. This is also going to be considered a regional event which is really exciting to me because that likely means that there's going to be another event sometime in the future following this one up in a more sort of grander scale like League of Legends Worlds or the International or the Invitational where all the best teams from around the world come together and compete because the Ignition series was based on just regions however it wasn't necessarily Riot ran so it couldn't really progress anywhere past just being those sort of regional tournaments however First Strike will conclude in a grand finals from December 3rd through December 6th uh, so this tournament alone won't have, you know, a grand finals, grand world finals sort of thing on its own. However, it does kind of lay the groundwork for that to happen in the future. Another important takeaway from this is that there are regional qualifiers for this tournament, meaning that those smaller amateur teams do have a chance to qualify and participate and play alongside those tier one teams. And this is always good, and that's always well received by pros, because previously it was Nell pointing out that these tournaments always have the same teams going into them um, because there were no qualifiers. And that also takes away from the possible exposure that those smaller teams could be getting. Not only that, but sometimes a curveball is thrown and those tier two or tier three teams could potentially end up qualifying and winning. And with Riot officially running this event, they let us know that they're planning on implementing more features to make the viewing and playing experience even better. They're planning on updating the observer tools for the spectators because if you guys have been keeping up with Valorant Esports at all, sometimes it can be pretty hard to follow or, or sometimes, you know, the observer just misses some action. So it would be really helpful to have updated observer tools. Not only that, but they're also planning on adding a round reset feature in case you know rounds ever need to be reset for example early on in the ignition series there were players abusing the cypher camera bugs which nowadays if that were to happen or at least you know once this feature is actually implemented if that were to happen they would probably just reset the round or if someone was abusing some other bug they'd probably just reset the round and have them replay it. So I can't wait to see what Riot does with this. It is our first glance at what Valorant Esports will look like later down the road. There's going to be regional qualifiers, likely a bigger prize pool than what the Ignition series offered, a new and improved viewing experience, and we're going to be seeing some new teams in the spotlight. So it only gets better from here. Up next, though, as unbelievable as this may seem, there is a lot of evidence pointing towards a possible mobile release for Valorant. Previously, Riot told us that they were exploring the idea of adding Valorant to mobile and console, which kind of just sounds like a completely foreign idea, like imagine CSGO on mobile. It, it kind of sounds impossible. Of course, they did do it on console, which obviously didn't play very well, especially compared to its PC counterpart. Uh, but with the release of patch 1.08 of Valorant, a new string of code was added to the game. And that said, action to perform when double tapping on the right hand side of the screen, which really the only thing that that could probably apply to is a mobile version of Valorant. And with a mobile version of Valorant, that likely means we'd be getting a console version of the game as well, which game director Joe Ziegler did confirm that they were trying to work out. But the struggles were, of course, making the game still feel as precise as it is on PC, which seems like a very difficult challenge to overcome and to perfect. Uh, but when you've got games like PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile, that at least lets us know that it's possible to some degree. The game might just play a bit slower and uh, a bit weirder if it does happen. So I'm excited to see where Valorant Esports is headed. I myself am pretty satisfied with the update that Riot gave us in terms of the regional qualifiers and new observer tools and all that good stuff. It makes me a very happy viewer and I'm not going to complain about the console and mobile versions of Valorant. However, I will say I am just a bit skeptical of how that's going to work out and how that's going to play. Uh, but of course, let me know if you guys are excited for that and if you guys have any concerns yourself of how that's going to work out. So of course, I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Take it easy. Be safe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.